May Day celebration in Moscow gives the Russians the opportunity to crow loud and long over the West. For the theme running through the parade is Triumph in Space. They have no intention of letting the world forget that they were first in orbit. And of course, Yuri Gagarin is the featured guest who sees a rocket balloon launched in his honor. Hello, Mr. Petitza. Um, my name is Alex. It's Sasha. Um, is it okay to just ask questions? Ask, yes. Um, is it true that he was the first man in space? My name is Alex Marks and I'm a filmmaker. Fourteen days ago I was in Latvia with the boys from Watergun documenting the making of a feature film called The Cosmonaut. We received an unexpected phone call from a girl in London which completely changed our plans. Uh, my name's Anna Lucina. Um, I was passed on your number. I believe you're working on a film, The Cosmonaut. Uh, my grandfather, I believe, was one of the lost cosmonauts. I'm not sure if you're aware of the story. Um, I'm wondering if you can help me, though, so if you could give me a ring back, that would be great. Thank you. Just the faint possibility of finding a real-life lost cosmonaut was enough for us to respond. So we flew to London to meet Anna, and find out what she had to say. Well, my whole life, since I was a little girl, I, my grandma and my mum always been telling me stories about my grandfather. Uh, he was a pilot in the Soviet Air Force, um, and uh, uh, it's apparently a very good one. Птица, расскажи, как в космос летал. Рассказывай, не рассказывай, что толку. Вы же так все знаете. Люди вечно делают выводы до того, как выяснят, что же на самом-то деле там было. So, 1960, um, end of 1960, uh, one evening, my whole family were at home, my, my grandma, my mum, my uncle, my granddad, um, and two took the whole family away for a week in Odessa. We call him um, Ptica. It means bird. Nobody knows his real name. And he was here uh, before everybody else. Вы лучше послушайте о птицах. В космосе же их не бывает. Там всё живое гибнет от декомпрессии. Вот так. <laughs> April 1961, beginning of April, he went off on a, a, a special mission. And that's when, uh, very soon after that, that's when they were informed that he died in a plane crash. My grandma, obviously she wanted to retrieve his body so they could hold a burial service for him. Couldn't get it. It was just met with endless excuses from his superiors, from his colleagues, what she found out very soon after that was the story of, of the lost cosmonauts. A number of pilots in the Soviet Air Force were trained uh, specifically then to, to become cosmonauts and to go into outer space. This is before the success of Yuri Gagarin. They all died, they crash landed, they, they burned upon re-entering the atmosphere. They, none of them came back bar one. Apparently, this, the, the story goes that this, this man, uh, upon his return to Earth, was suffering a severe mental breakdown. Well, I think the authorities, they wanted to hide him away. They didn't want to admit 
the you know obviously what they'd done yeah. um, and uh, this man got sent away to a mental hospital to avoid any public failure. Не был я в космосе. Я же не сумасшедший. Это ты, наверное, спятила. Хотя все мы тут немного того. End of 1961, these uh, amateur radio operator, uh, these brothers in Italy, uh, they'd intercepted uh, a call from, uh, from who they believed to be Russian cosmonauts trying to contact base. It's quite distressing. You've um, got the recording yes. here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, are, you, are we mic for this? Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Калибри из Южной Америки. Там за одной самкой ухаживают два самца. И тот, которого она отвергает, он съежится на одну секунду и улетает в сторону Солнца. И летит, и летит, и летит. И загнанный умирает. Um, this is Yuri Gagarin here. Okay. According to my grandma, my grandfather should have been in this place here, but he's been deleted from the photo. We carried this with her her whole life. <laughs> hmm. I bought this, uh, this photograph from London. Um, is, is there anyone you recognize from this photo? And so you think this might be your grandfather's? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty crazy, the whole thing. I've had it, obviously, I've had all this for years. She passed away uh, about six years ago. But I um, received a letter about three months ago from a man called Mr. K. Um, it's apparently a friend, a trusted contact <laughs> of my grandma. Just Mr. K. Mr. No. K. Well, he, he's suggesting various different plots for the cemetery, the Cosmonaut Cemetery, and also a possible location for a man that could be my grandfather. In the cemetery? No, in a, in a mental hospital, still alive in a mental hospital. You think he might be still alive? First, it seemed a bit crazy to come here looking for the remains of an event which took place over 50 years ago. But we still decided to visit the sites and see them with our own eyes. This was the place where the first space capsule to ever transport a human being to space crash landed back to Earth. The locals we managed to speak to called it the Witch's Wildwood, a place where ancient legends of forest creatures merge with more recent ones of space conspiracies. As we expected, we found nothing there. Nothing tangible or even slightly revealing that could tell us anything about the legendary landings. А вы когда-нибудь висели в воздухе, не чуя принадлежности ни к чему? Вот так все начинается, а потом пустота. Когда я вошел в космос, во мне вдруг все исчезло внутри. Все мои идеалы, все, за что я боролся, все, к чему стремился, вдруг 
пропала. И тогда я понял, что гравитация – это указатель на то, откуда я, к чему я принадлежу. Такая невидимая пуповина. Оторвал ее и остался бездомным навсегда. According to the mysterious Mr. K, this was the place where the Soviets kept the space capsules. Once more we found ourselves questioning the very purpose of our expedition. None of it was making any sense. Even if Anna's grandfather really was the lost cosmonaut that was over half a century ago. What if he crash landed in Siberia or was burnt up on re-entering the atmosphere or had died in the plane crash as the official record stated? And what difference would any of it make to anything anyway? Could you ask him about the cosmonaut cemetery? Obviously there was something extraordinary about the sanctuary, regardless of whether or not it really was the cosmonaut cemetery. But again, nothing that related to our quest. No clues, no signs, no nothing. No, it's a place. We called the Southern Cosmos. Because when someone died there, there was no body, no body. We were saying, Лег на покой или на отдых. Теперь все ищут это место. Бесполезно. Оно слишком далеко. You came back from up there. Да, я тут. Вот мое тело. Сынок, тебе этого не понять. Когда ты попадешь туда, твоя жизнь изменится навечно и мгновенно. И ты откроешь для себя что-то важное такое, чего не сможешь передать другому никогда. И благо это станет твоим проклятием до конца жизни. Постичь этого блага человеку невозможно. Пока невозможно. Is there any evidence that these stories are true? Во что-то поверить, это значит сделать выбор. Я устал. Устал? Um, he's tired. Yeah, later. Okay, later. I guess just cut it there. 